What's up guys? Welcome to another D5 render video. We have something wild to unbox today, and I'm sure you've been waiting for this. The ultimate GeForce GPU, RTX 4090 is finally here. The long-awaited graphics card is powered by the NVIDIA Ada Lovelace architecture, featuring 16,384 CUDA cores, running 24 gigabits of G6X video memory on a 384-bit bus. With more extensive ray tracing features, upgraded tensor cores, and DLSS 3.0, 4090 should be capable of running real-time rendering software, D5 Render, to provide the fastest and smoothest possible real-time rendering experience at an amazing frame rate. Let's see how it outperforms its predecessors when running D5 Render in this review. Tests will be done on architecture, interior, and gaming scenes. Ray Tracing on. Let the game begin. We will be using D5 Render Benchmark Tool from D5 Official Website. By running this tool which automatically starts testing on the same scene, you'll see how well your computer performs when it comes to real-time operating and rendering output in D5 Render. You can see from the results that it took 3090, 3 minutes 44 seconds to finish the rendering test, while 4090 made it in 1 minute 45 seconds. For a 2K resolution image, 3090 renders in 33 seconds and 4090, 19 seconds. For a 5 second long animation, 3090 renders in 3 minutes 11 seconds and 4090, 1 minute 26 seconds. All these test results can be found on the result page of D5 Benchmark Tool. As you can see, 3060 here still shows great capacity with a total time of 3 minute 23 seconds to render an animation 5 seconds long. For 3D rendering professionals and enthusiasts, we have got 3 more scenes to put you in the know about how good 4090 can be for you. On the left, we have an average FPS of 22 in this CG gaming scene coming from 3090, and 4090 almost doubles the number, offering us an FPS at 57. This is actually a complex scene heavy on Alembic files, and let's take a look at the animation preview. 3090 real-time FPS 8.5 4090 real-time FPS 12, which means a 41% uplift. This is crazy! FPS 40 for 3090, and a whopping 60 for 4090. The maximum FPS in D5 is now set at 60, so it's possible that what we saw is not yet the best possible performance. Finally, we have this aerial view rendering for a fairly large architecture project. You can see that 3090 does the work. Feel free to zoom in, and don't worry, lagging is not expected here. At the same time, 4090 continued to surprise us in this architectural visualization scene, with an average FPS at 34. How smooth is that? We've tested several features and commands inside D5 Render on the scenes, and it turned out that the beastly 4090 is extremely competitive in working with D5. By using D5's built-in path, scatter, brush tools to quickly place multiple car, people, vegetation assets, which is normally resource intensive, we can still expect a smooth and efficient rendering experience with a relatively high frame rate. When it comes to rendering export, we test on still frames and animations in 2K 4K resolution, and the time was pretty much reduced by half. What it means is that we get to have a 4K aerial view, or site planning, rendered in a matter of minutes. For this review, tests are done using D5 Render version 2.3. While the results are already looking amazing, there's still room for improvement. Rendering with the coming 2.4 would be another story. Stay tuned! Comparing the raw performance of the Star 4090 with 3090, we saw a 100% uplift in both real-time FPS and rendering speed. Its futuristic features should work especially well with D5, in shortening render time drastically. Handling extremely huge or complex scenes, and offering an incredibly smooth real-time experience. Is it worthwhile to purchase 4090? Whether you have an answer right now or not, what we can advise is that apart from a hardware upgrade, switching to a better, easier, more affordable software like D5 Render will also be a boost to your efficiency. Despite its amazing performance with 4090, this software is not limited to high-end cards only, and runs on GeForce GTX 1066GB and above. It's also coming to a wider range of graphics cards in the near future, bringing next-generation rendering workflow to more architects, designers, and 3D artists. Leave a comment to let us know your ideas and requests.
we'll come back with another amazing video soon.